Miroslav, welcome to CNNGR. Thank you, good to be here. Kalimera in Greek. Kalimera. So you seem to me to like, uh, you are a person that uh, you like uh, challenges. You've played in uh, Turkey, you've played in Germany, you've played in Ukraine, then in the NBA, then China, now one of the best teams in the EuroLeague. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I like challenges, but maybe not, that's not the reason I, my career went that way. But what to do? I always accept the challenges that are in front of me. So now I'm here and this is maybe the biggest challenge of, of all because uh, very, very good team, great team with uh, a lot of history, uh, great expectations. But uh, I like that. That's, that's why I'm here because I like to be with the best. That was the motivation to, exactly. to come in Greece and exactly. play for Panathinaikos because Panathinaikos is probably the best team in the EuroLeague for the last 20 years. Exactly, exactly, you're right. Mm. Probably it's something about your personality because I know you like the, the poem of If of Kipling. You have yes. a tattoo. Like I got a, a, a tattoo, yes. 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 What, what means for a basketball player to, to, to be like this, to, to, to like the poetry? What means for you the, this poem? This and a, for your career. This exact poem, uh, not only for basketball players, but mm -hmm. I think it should be like a motivation or a guideline for whole life because it just keeps you pushing and if you read it over and over, every time you're going to find something else, you know, that motivates you. So that's the same with me. That's why I made a tattoo to whenever I look at, you know, I just remember I need to keep on pushing and just to be the right person. Mm -hmm. uh, also was a motivation the presence of Asasa Djordjevic in Panathinaikos. It was because, I think yes. you have a good relationship. Re very good re uh, relationship in the national team. Very good energy from, I think, both of us in our cooperation. So it was uh, also a big part of me being here. Mm -hmm. Please tell me, Miroslav, uh, Panathinaikos is a new team. Must evolve every day, be better and better and better. Exactly. We, we didn't have uh, a lot of time to mm -hmm. practice together, some of uh, guys uh, were in national teams, the other guys uh, come a little bit late. So we had these tournaments in China, then uh, Russia, and we didn't have time to practice. But as I said at the beginning of the season, uh, we mustn't have any excuses, you know, for, for that. Just we need to improve every day, step by step, and, you know, we're going to be good because I feel very good energy from the guys and uh, from the whole uh, coaching staff and everybody else around us, everything, you know, it works really good. And I'm, I'm really sure we're going to look uh, better and better every day. Every day. Uh, Miroslav Radulica, when he will be at the peak of his form, at the 100%, what can we say for the fans of Panathinaikos that we will see the real Miroslav uh, inside the, I the cannot, basket? I cannot <laughs> say exact date, but uh, <laughs> I want everybody to know that uh, me and everybody else, you know, working really hard on a daily basis and we're going to get there, you know, we're going to get there. I'm on purpose, I'm saying we because I don't consider myself as a, you know, something special. But when I'm in a team, you know, the, I need to say we. Mm -hmm. So we're all of us, we're going to be, you know, uh, we're going to be better. So uh, for a new team like Panathinaikos, what is the goal for this season? It's the Greek championship. It's the final four of the EuroLeague, both of them. I'm sure, I'm sure. Uh, Panathinaikos always has the highest goal, so we are setting highest goals to ourselves, you know. That's, of course, Greek League, Championship Cup, and let's say Final Four. Mm -hmm. uh, you work also with uh, a lot of uh, very established players, it's like Diamandidis, like Fochis, but also with young players. Maybe it's the next top generation of the Greek uh, basketball, uh, Haralabopoulos, Papayans. What is your advice to, this, to these guys? Uh, my advice is, you know, like all of us who are developed, you know, in some points of our careers, watching other guys, uh, of course, like Diamantidis and Fotis, and, you know, they're legends and they're extremely good players and uh, extremely good teammates. Uh, I, would, I would say to them to use every practice every day, you know, to learn something from them. And... Uh, from the other players, you know, they're very good guys, they got uh, very good energy, they work a lot, you know, every day, but my advice would be, you know, just to use every practice every day, you know, as a new experience for them. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that when you came here, the fans of Panathinaikos told you, Miroslav, we have the derby with Olympiakos. Already you have uh, played twice, 
what's your first experience of these uh, games? Because uh, it's something different, it's something unique, I, um, I must say. It is, the, I, the knew, I knew almost everything about it, you know, uh, before I came here. And now uh, it's a totally different story because I experienced it on uh, my own skin and I feel really good because we had, uh, let's say, I, I can freely say it's a good start for us, you know, 2-0 with them. I mean, it's, it means very good uh, beginning of the season for us and I hope we're going to continue playing like that. Okay, and something finally more personal about you. Uh, please tell me, who has the trademark for the beard, you or James Harden? <laughs> oh, that's the most often question, yeah, from the World Championship. As I said, you know, I got bigger head, so I, I, I think my, my beard is bigger, so... Uh, he, he said that he was, he was lazy, that, that's why he, he wouldn't like to shave. What's, how you begin to, to, to leave this? Beard? I don't know, a lot of, uh, lot of people, or most uh, of the people don't know, you know, I had beard even before, but since uh, World Championship, uh, everybody saw me, you know, and this and that. Uh, they thought I started to grow it uh, then, but I always wanted to have beard or mustaches or something. I, I just like it, that facial hair and... You are not as, as, as fearsome as someone saw you on, on the road, you know, the big guy with the beard. Yeah, yeah, no? yeah, but as I said, uh, maybe before I didn't have so good hairs, you know, on my beard, so I waited for the right moment. But I had, you know, before, even before, four years, three years, two years. That's, uh, wh that's why I grow it now, because I like it. Mm -hmm. So, uh, closing uh, your promise to the fans of Panathinaikos from Miroslav Radulca? I promise we're going to, you know, leave our hearts on the court and leave our hearts for them like they do for us every game. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you thank very much you. for, thank for you being with us. Thank you.